welcome back all right i've liked this so much with just the temporary stuff that i'm building another one here but it's not going to have a big flip out top it's just a cabinet to store all the loose crap that's in here so i don't have to change it up between spring and winter and all that stuff i got some cabinet doors i gotta go pick up yet to put in here those will match the rest of the camper and i got some cedar that'll match everything to make it look similar this one i'm gonna build this and i'm gonna get a top put on it and see what fits where and then i'll uh get the top put on over here as well so all right this one's gonna be a little taller than the last one Overall, it's okay. Not bad. All right. I'm gonna cut through the rest. I'll build the same box like I did before. I, there's no point in recording all that. Ta-da, it's a box. All right, well, uh, I'm gonna haul this in there. Hard to do one-handed. So we'll see how this fits. What do you think? Do you like the, the new box? You like boxes. This fits pretty good. My measuring was apparently pretty close here, so I might need to shave that down with something. But uh, so this side, there's no doors, no nothing. I'm just gonna put some cedar paneling kind of stuff, just like this, on the front, and then put some trim there. I'm gonna reuse the corner trim on the back, and then this one's just gonna get a butcher block top. The main thing I want to do, I'm, I made it wide and tall enough that my clothes hamper can fit here. And then all my other miscellaneous stuff from all these totes, all these things, all that can fit and I can get some stuff and organize it better. And then I'm going to take the butcher block top, I'm gonna split it. Well, I have to do a little bit here to fit around this whole contraption. And so there'll be a short sliver here, and then it'll split to the width of my clothes hamper and that can sit here. So that'll be a separate lift up lid on a hinge. And then the rest of this will be its own lift up kind of hinge seal so I can use it as a table work whatever set stuff on I can put all my stuff to charge do whatever when I need to I can lift it up and get down inside do what I got to do store stuff beer pop water all that good stuff so so yeah I'm gonna get to cleaning this stuff up I'll get this screwed in and then I'll start measuring my pieces and start cutting them out of the butcher block <laughs> I figured I'd show off some of this tomfoolery um, I didn't have a long enough level to give me a straight edge and I'm using an old circular saw I found this in the shed it's a old rail from a tonneau cover off my truck should be straight enough so eh, let's see if I can screw this up wow that worked cord came unplugged Might not need that end. Ooh, don't ding it up. All right, straight enough for what I'm gonna do with it. I need to cut a few chunks out of this and fit it. We won't uh, tell OSHA how I cut this out of there, but it worked. It's kind of hard to see in the low light, but uh, apparently my expectation for how square this corner was on a one-year-old camper was too high or I cut it crooked but hopefully that's not the case I'm sure it's fine it's not me it's never me it's always somebody else anywho so I got this notched out here and then I'll just cut another chunk here and then I'll cut the pieces I'm gonna cut them all to fit in here so it looks good voila pieces are cut I think that's gonna work out really nice I got a little gap I mean, obviously this thing isn't built perfectly square, or it was, and hauling it down the road and all the movement. My notch here got a little goofy. I think I might just, when I'm all done, I'm just gonna run a little bead of silicone around the edge. So now I'm gonna get the hinges figured out here. I'll get this all screwed down. We're gonna clean this mess, repeat, sort of, get the top going on that side. It's coming along, it's looking pretty good. So it took me a bit to get these hinges worked out or well, the one so far um, if anybody has any t tips on those but I got it level and everything seems to work well so it'll be good to do the hinge action oops 
so I just got to fit the bigger piece onto the hinge, which I think is going to be, I don't know, hopefully easier, harder, I don't know. Well, it's my first time doing this, and I learned I'm probably never doing these types of hinges again. That and I think my saw blade is getting dull because it cut this. Everything else has been cutting perfectly square. This wandered and just got weird. So I had to fix it. So I put the, the weird cut on the back because I'm going to seal that up. So it should be able to hide it. But I had to take off a little so this isn't quite the same here. So they're not going to perfectly match up. But nobody else is going to know. I mean, well, everybody watching this now, you're going to know. But it's what it is. So I think I'm going to screw these down, kind of square them up, see how it looks one pair of pants later well here it is uh it's the weekend i've got the tops done so yeah like this it flips up this one flips up and then this one flips out like this and i have a nice desktop works out actually really well the height of everything and then i can lower actually the bed all the way if this is folded down so that's pretty cool Right now I'm just figuring out how, well, that's the only part that's like, oh, Marty, there you are, nope. Unless you set it perfect, it, it's wonky. I can probably figure that out or maybe that's just how these work. I'm just trying to figure out the placement of the doors and how, I have no idea how to build <laughs> door. I already screwed up a little door, so I gotta change my plans around. Forcer bit, cedar, and uh, trying to drill holes. I drilled too slow and it just ripped it up instead and I accidentally drilled through. So one door's a waste. It was the little one that I was gonna put here. So now I'm trying to decide, do I steal one of the doors I was gonna put here, put over here, and now I'm thinking I'm just overthinking. So what I'm gonna do, we're just gonna see how stuff looks. If it looks goofy, then meh, whatever. We'll figure it out as we go. I think. All right. So what I'm gonna do is take this style stuff that I have, and I'm just gonna cover this up to this edge, because this is the exact opening I would need for the door that I wanna put in. So I'm gonna start from there and see what I can't screw up. And then I'm sure there's gonna be people that do this for a living or whoever are gonna look at this and uh, think I'm just goofy because I have no idea what I'm doing. This is how IT guys build cabinetry uh, on a Saturday. Well, this is turning into fixing the saw because the, the cords broke. So I gotta tear that apart and see if I can fix the electrical cord on the end. All right. Any bets on whether it's going to light on fire when we plug it in? Uh, oh, okay. All right, let's uh, let's get going on this now. You won't see this annoying little thing, and then that little piece that broke off. But I'm gonna go get some nails. See if I can split this stuff and wreck it and get mad. It'll be a good time. Hi, Marty. Yeah, you helping? Good girl. Good girl. Hair, but it doesn't matter too much. I knew that was gonna happen. All right. All right. Take two on this. I. The other one might be in scraps and possibly in a bonfire pit. So we're trying this thing again. I found a way to cut it more square with the <laughs> circular saw. I know I need better tools. Yeah. Those cost money, and I'm cheap right now in this point of my life. So, here's what we're gonna try again. I have readjusted the depth of the drill bit. I went too far, so then the screw heads just ripped through. Okay, it looks like we got the right angle of the dangle this time. Mm 
Eh, just need a little sanding. Okay, we have a frame. There. I don't know the best way to do this, so I think we're just gonna eyeball it and guess. I don't know. Now does it open? Wow! Stay about that and then this is gonna split the wood for sure probably unless I pilot drill stuff but I need something that's the right amount to just hold that like right there and right there eyeballed looks good I think that'll look pretty good. I just gotta get it mounted in here. But, you know, somewhere in here, I'll have a little door. All right, get it all mounted here and then we'll go from there. Well, all right, I have one cabinet door, but that works pretty slick. I'm gonna have, yeah, dirty clothes hamper in here. I'm gonna mount this thing up on the wall and run the cords and everything through there so that's hidden and out of the way and all that. I'll do that a different day. It's functional. Actually, the door part turned out better. I'm still annoyed at the whole crookedness of that, but from here, I don't think you can really tell. I'm debating if I wanna try and do some trim across the bottom of here or just leave that. I'm thinking I might just try to find some more of that and just continue from the edge of this over um, and then there's this whole side so I think this is where I'll end I don't know what part I'm on I haven't even edited the first video it's coming along it's actually turning out pretty good so I guess here till the next one